Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to do double glazing on a Nautix 27. Um, as you can see, the windows aren't square or rectangular shapes, they've got sloping edges, they've got curved corners, and the windows on the front are not even parallel. The inside edge is shorter than the outside edge, so you can't just get a sheet of perspex and just cut a regular size out. Easiest thing to do, you need to make a template. Now, any big sheet of paper will do. Uh, what I've got is what most people will have lying around the house, um, an old roll of wallpaper. So, get a piece of wallpaper, and you need to take it into place over the window. Next, just take a pen, pencil, Okay, so just take your marked out piece of paper and then cut out. template. Okay, so you get your sheet of acrylic glazing, uh, perspex, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you need a nice level surface, wide area to lay it on. So lay it down flat with the plain side facing up. Okay, then you want your template. Take this one, this is for the front windows. So make use of one of the straight sides, saves you a bit of cutting. Line it up against the straight side and then just tack it into place. Right, then you get your pen, mark the curves. Start just on the straight. Make sure you hold the template down flat against the surface. And make sure you get a clearly defined line. Okay, that's one. Okay, once that's done, you can remove the template. Okay, so you've got your markings where the curves are, so then you just want to line your ruler up with the ends of the curves. And mark your straight edges.
okay, ready for cutting. generated by the blade it's fused it all together again but it's only very thin just needs a quick snap there we go you just take your plane and just smooth it And there you have it, one window pane ready to go on. Easiest thing to use to cut it was a jigsaw. Um, saw a couple of videos on YouTube um, where they mentioned about cutting these panels and they said to use a router. Um, tried that, just did not work at all. The plastic was just melting and setting again around the router blade so it just would not cut anything. I managed to do about an inch and that, that was the lot. Uh, so the jigsaw wasn't too bad. Uh, you, you do need to make sure you've got quite a thin blade though so you can get around those curves. Uh, anything too wide you just won't be able to get around the curves. So that's that stage done. Uh, next stage then will be to get everything down to the boat, um, put the magnetic tapes on and put them into place. Okay, so next stage, fitting. First thing we need to do, make sure the frame is clean and dry. So we need to get a alcohol wipe and just quickly wipe over everything on there. That just makes sure there's no grease on it. and then give it a quick wipe down, make sure it's dry. Okay, that's done. Then we take the metal strip and we need to cut that to shape and apply it to the window frame. Okay there's the metal strips fitted uh, of course because they're curved windows you can't butt them up to each other so you are going to have to cut small pieces to overlap on the corners but you do need to overlap them slightly what you don't want is any significant gaps anywhere in here you want the whole of the window frame covered so that's that stage. Uh, next stage then is we get the magnetic strip and we cut that to fit on top of here. Right, so now we've got the magnetic strips matched up. Uh, of course, with these, the, the thick, so you do have to get these level. You can't have these overlapping. So you're gonna have to cut angle joints there. So that's how you get that on there. Uh, next thing we do is remove all the backing tape off the sticky side. Right, backing tape removed. We then need to get our window and peel off the protective film make sure you do that on the side that's going to be on the inside. So that comes off there. And we'll just give it a quick wipe down. Just remove any dust and grease. And then we put the window up against the sticky side of the magnetic tape. Um, you need to make sure you've got this correctly positioned first time because there's no redos on this. So that is to go up there. 
That looks about right. Okay. And then just press it down all the way around. Then remove the backing, the protective film from the. And that's your double glazing fitted. They'll just pull off like that and click back on again. So hopefully that should keep the boat warmer and also stop the inside of the windows from getting too much condensation. Uh, you won't completely eradicate it, but it will help a lot. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching.